start the next one. Is that team out? <laughs> oh, yes. Thanks so much for coming back. It's been a while since we've seen you guys. It's now time to start packing up for the Asheville Guitar Show, which we are very, very excited for. Starting with a bunch of Les Paul cases here and other Les Paul-ish guitars. Let's get the van pack going. How many guitars are you bring? Um, 35 to 40. We're gonna bring 36 stand plus two triple rep plus two like of like the triple hanger. And I think that's gonna be more than enough. If we have room, I would like to throw one of those nine guitar racks on there for like new acquisitions, but I don't know how that's gonna fit in with the booth. Are those all the hard cases? Um, no, there's one right here. Is that going? Yes, that one's going. It's all the as of the second. I'm not opposed to bringing other hard cases. But I think that might, they very well may be all oh. hard cases. It's one of those top three deep bags. Wait. Never mind. It is right here. Which amps are you bringing? The two right behind. Uh, okay, there is a Sunburst Japan Peli on the wall. We're getting very close. Thank you. Easy pack job, because there's no conversation piece back line. Waiting on two more hard shell cases. Coming from Bradham over from my shop. And Alex should be back here any second. Concerned because there's so much room. So now Alex is gonna be encouraged to buy even more guitars. Even though there's a ton of inventory already. We'll see what happens. Oh, it doesn't matter because this is gonna get some other music over it. Unless I you wanna say know. something. Oh, I have nothing to say. Nothing. Howdy. This will be Brian's third appearance. Woo! We're going back to my stomping grounds today. My stomping grounds for the last two months. That's it. <laughs> it's the Brian Brown trilogy edition of the vlogs. Yo, yes. <laughs> Watch the vlog being edited. In the, the past vlog is in the future. It slapped, dude. I I see what Colin was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they really used the. Will I show that to you? No. In this video? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. You can't. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is that a stadium right there? You know, it's nice. It's a triple A field, but it's nicer than a lot of MLB parks I've been to. Okay. We've made it. Holiday Inn Express. Holiday Inn Express. In Asheville. Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, we are here by ourselves because flights get delayed all the time. And sadly, it's always the flight that Alex and Kaylee are on. Always delayed. It's always at night, it always gets pushed back later. So now instead of 1020, they're gonna be arriving at midnight. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, regale us with the story of... Catch us up? Yeah, oh yeah. Right now, it is 1.24 in the morning. Technically a Friday, March 10th, so the guitar show actually starts today. Off for dealer day. The guys left this morning. We had some bagels. Thomas didn't get a bagel because I didn't understand much of the going on. I bought half a dozen bagels thinking that the team was coming at the shop this morning, but, but only Eric was there. And so I thought we were waiting on everyone. So I start cooking bagels and then I figure out that everyone was actually just waiting on Eric to be able to leave. And I was holding him up. 
with bagels. Hey, he could have brought the bagels. In hindsight, he could have he brought a bagel for himself and didn't bring <laughs> didn't bring me a bagel. I just realized that you grabbed yourself a bagel and didn't grab anyone else a bagel. This no. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> After the bagel conundrum's over, uh, the guys took off. Uh, me, Kaylee, and Damien worked at the shop all day. We got a ton of stuff done. I know we always say this, but we, we have so much cool stuff coming up right now. We, uh, I think we worked on like four different Ibanez Prestige guitars and J Custom guitars. Like, obviously all made in Japan and stuff. I'm not always like an Ibanez guy, but all of them are really, really top notch. Um, some of them we found in Japan, as you probably saw in the last or two videos ago, or however many it is now. Um, but yeah, so we had a productive day. Well, the guys drove up here. Uh, we were supposed to depart at 8 p.m., but thanks to our great friend at Allegiant, the plane did not leave until 11, and it was an absolute racket on the plane. Now we're going to get some sleep, and then do dealer day starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Hate that for us. It won't rain on Saturday, but then it will rain on Sunday. Listen, and we can have this discussion. It's too cold in here right now. It's perfect in here. What do you mean? Oh, okay. It's lovely. You should be grateful. We have two hotel rooms, Alex. Uh, my wallet. Is that a zip tie holding the top? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, and that's another one. Okay. I don't like this elevator. It's not the best. Oh, it's not too bad. Those aren't loading in shoes. Yeah, but those, those don't look like loading in shoes. Hey, welcome. I think we have a better variety this time. We got yeah. three Thomas. Three Thomas. We got SG. We got left fall. Yeah. More offsets. Oh. It's gonna be a show team. at the Asheville Guitar Show in Asheville, North Carolina at the uh, Agricultural Center. We just got everything set up. I already started buying. We'll see how this show goes. Uh, we've already sold a couple things, so it's been going pretty well. Today is the dealer day, but it's busy for a dealer day. We've been getting way more like traffic than normal. Usually it's just a few people waltzing around, but we've been getting a ton of people. So maybe there's some VIP buyers as well, because you can pay like an extra fee and get in early on dealer's day. But I figure for us, if we're not doing the show, there's no reason to pay $200 for one day. I just found this one. This is an older Mexico strap, but it's cool. It's got this uh, matte nitro finish. It's really cool, like deep purple. Nothing too crazy, but I haven't seen one of these in a while, so I figured it'd be worth picking up. It's original color? It is. Correct. The last time I had one of these is when I was running this business out of a dorm at UNF. So it's been a while. Come along, let's go look at some guitars. I've done like a, a really brief look. So this will mostly be my first impression. Where's my thin line? Tony? I haven't seen it yet. I, I, I have seen one I'm going to show you over there. Very cool stuff here. You'll notice we just got the Jazzmaster version of this. Got the sparkle. I love that. Nice. It's a really cool Nikon. One of the sleeker ones that I've seen. A bunch of fun stuff. 74 Mustang. I initially thought that was natural, but that's like Capri Orange. That's really cool. That's pretty cool. That's very rad. I see something in, in Mocha, so I have to go check it out. Walnut. Oh no, what happened here? Somebody got a little crafty. 
Oh. How much did you have on the black tail costume here? This is so heavy. This is probably like nine, maybe close to ten pounds. Oh. Yeah. Seventy-eight. Factory black. What's up? Hey, how y'all doing? We have an XR3 for you guys, right? Huh? That gives an XR3? Yeah. 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 Turn out. yeah. Um, we still got it listed. Sure. <laughs> I was going to get my glasses before Howie rolled up. I guess you mind if I take a look at it? No, please. Howie rolled up on me. Take Tempting RG. We're thinking about it. We might go back. Usually I don't do that. Usually we either do the deal or we don't. But at the price where I knew we do really well on it, he was into it for more than that. So no game there. But. The day is just getting started and I don't want to get too crazy too quickly. The last few shows we've done, like, we found almost nothing on dealer day, so I'm definitely not in like a rush because I know there's going to be so much stuff coming in with the public. It's a good uh, dealer day so far. Yeah, it's been a very good dealer day. A little buying, a little selling, not bad. Look at this. All roads with Nax, Seafoam Green. That's close. I know. Oh, a matching case too. Match my strap. Yeah. The highest price we could have paid, it probably wouldn't have made sense for him. I mean, it wouldn't have made that much sense for us either. So. I heard Kaylee wanted Kaylee it. was saying she needed like as many of those as we could find. <laughs> oh, oh, come oh, on. Goodness. <laughs> Zoom in on the really <laughs> 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 The same guitar in my personal collection in much worse condition. This one's so much plainer. It's a good one. Many cool things. We have one of those right now. Mm -hmm. All the old 1998. Yes, I built all those amps. What makes them special over other amps? I built them. Uh, they're, or at least most of them, uh, the tweeds are virtual copies of what uh, Fender was making in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Only they've got all new parts and they're not the cheapest parts available. Mm -hmm. Quality hand built amps. Hiding in plain sight, a 2000 Fender Subsonic. This is a 27 inch baritone made in the States. I've never seen one with this configuration, so I'm gonna, I gotta figure out what's original on here, if anything's been replaced. But I mean, if you know us, this is us. This is, this is what it is. Got this Guitar of the Week, Gibson Les Paul Classic, Guitar of the Week number 14. And uh, look at that finish. You've got the stock P90s, gold hardware. Really, really cool and very rare guitar. Uh, to check out, we got some case candy too, which is uh, uh, ideal. You've got it all. This tells you how to use the lock on the case in case you needed it. <laughs> got the manual, the checklist. Very cool guitar. Let's go hang out with Brian. Good way to end the day. Yeah, very good way to end the day. It's public day one, it's Saturday. Back at the guitar show. I haven't bought anything yet today. I'm trying to hold out for the public. Because you never know it's gonna walk in the door. So could be a crazy day. Could not be. Look at that. Case candy? Um I don't it's got like the weirdly enough, it's got the candy from 
the case, mm -hmm. but not from the guitar. But it's really, I mean, it's it's clean, clean. I feel like we should take this one with us. You guys do a bunch of filming. What do you got going on? Oh, I got a YouTube channel that we're doing, building up. Oh, cool. What's so it just called? Oh, uh, it's just a shop name, the Flash Loaded Gear. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, hey, remember, that's what we can look at. He's I'm got a memory I don't. Yeah, I don't got no memory, man. <laughs> By the tights go off, it'll strap. Oh, perfect, perfect. Very good acquisition. Had to do it. Had to do it to him. You already seen the pick. You know what's going on. I'm going to be very excited to see. Yeah. The case is blemish. It's all, it's all over. It's all part of it. Very limited edition. Very rare. Bender. American professional telecaster with an all rosewood neck. Beautiful, beautiful seafoam ring. We absolutely love it. Is it a personal acquisition or a shop acquisition? No, this is a shop acquisition. I want it to be a personal acquisition, however, due to budgetary reasons, it is a shop acquisition. It's not listed yet. There's still time. There's still time for me to keep it, though. It would match my strap perfectly. We're not keeping it. Shout out to Cornerstone Music. Big shout out. Nice guy. Two acquisitions, two similar acquisitions from two different people. We've got this 1974 Fender Mustang base, all original. And then, original Fender Music Master base from 1971. Two beautiful short scale bases. this Mexican Telecaster for 500 bucks and I'm gonna try to trade it for a guitar valued at about $550 from Alex because there's no way I'm trading down so that's the goal of the day <laughs> Pretty crazy day. Um, we've we've moved up in amps significantly. A lot of new amps, a lot of new guitars as well. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, but I think the craziest thing I haven't expected is how many people we've met at this show that knew like the YouTube channel and stuff. And that's pretty crazy. So shout out to everyone that we've seen here that knew who we were from YouTube. That's pretty cool. So thanks for saying hello. And thanks for doing deals with us too. But it's a very good deal. So a couple different people that uh, knew, knew the shop through the internet. Sold a lot of pedals too. We We've been selling it? pedals, I'll tell you that. We've been moving through. Got this. Got that. Around here. We got this Marshall. We got this awesome orange vertical 212 with cream backs in it. Supro. Trace Elliott. All good things. Better or worse, we got this Michael Kelly. Honestly, this guitar is fine. It's more that I've played so many Michael Kelly guitars that are horrendous. But this one was pretty good. Uh, but we got it with this guitar. And then we bought some pedals. Small Stone, we just acquired. We got this Marshall pedal as well. And this one, we got some other ones with this too. Mason B Twin. Other odds and ends as well that aren't out at the moment. Lots of cool stuff. It's a fresh find. It's a Squire. Um, it's a guitar. Yeah, it's it's got frets. I don't know. Back at the booth for no reason. <laughs> Today was crazy. We acquired a lot of things. Many amplifiers, many guitars, many pedals. We also sold a number of things and traded away a lot of things. So overall, we also talked to a lot of people. So overall, it was a great day. Very glad to be here. And now it's time to find some lemonade. What time is it right now? It's beer o'clock. Good morning. It's early. We're gonna go get coffee and donuts. It's 
earlier than normal too. It is double earlier than normal because we got up early for this, but it's also daylight savings time, so we lost an hour. Oh, it's a little mouse door so they can go inside the house. It's like when we were playing, uh, can you save the world? Or whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm moving in slow motion, I'm so tired. And we're gonna do a guitar show day. We're gonna make some things happen. And it's time to fly back and drive back to Florida and then get all this stuff on the internet. What are you doing right now? Testing out this Boss CE1. Haven't got to spend any time with this. We actually got this while we were in Japan. So I figured it's time to uh, have myself some fun with it. Big moves. Here you go. I have to count. I have to. I have to actually pay for it. How much did he get it for? This non reverse custom shop fire. I left for 20 minutes, came back, and we now have a line six variant on my bench. Perfect. Weekend wrap up. It's been a great show, one of our best. Bought some of the coolest things we ever found. Uh, traded around a bunch of items, so that was cool. Overall, fantastic weekend in Asheville, North Carolina. Lovely vibes all around. Went to some cool breweries, which I don't personally drink, but I love going to breweries because there's always good food and uh, good hangs. So it's been a great weekend and uh, very grateful that we were able to be here and I'm hoping to be back soon. I know sometimes we do a summer show as well, so if they do it this year, that's definitely something that's on the table for us. But if not, we will definitely be back next year for the spring show. Shout out to Casino Guitars. They've collabed on some video now. I think you're probably going to see more of that from us in the future. Um, they shot some really cool stuff. Someone from them bought a pedal from us. Thank you, you're a king, you know who you are. And uh, yeah, great, great vibes all around. There was definitely a couple that got away. A couple of us balls, maybe one or two fenders. But for the most part, this is probably the best success rate we've had at a show of getting everything I wanted to get. So that's a big win. Now it's time to pack up, drive and fly back to Florida. Right back where we started. Except for the bit more guitar. <laughs> a lot more amp. I got your bag. I got a oh. Oh. Some people. I don't, don't know, know who the damn know that is. is. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to leave Asheville, North Carolina. We just uh, finished up at the guitar show, went to go get something to eat, uh, dropped Alex and Kaylee off at the two foot long airport. And now Thomas and I just got gas, and uh, we're gonna start our eight-hour trek home. We might even beat them home. Yeah, if Elysian keeps uh, delaying their flight another two times, I think we will beat them. <laughs> so, here's to that.